Hi, it's Nick Morton, improvemymindset.com, and I've not done a video in a while, so here it is. So today I want to talk to you about worry. And my question to you is, do you worry? Because I used to. I used to worry a lot. In fact, I used to worry loads, to the point that when I was about nine years old, my teacher actually said to me, Nicholas, you would worry if you had nothing to worry about. And that kind of stuck with me. And I began to realise that I gave so much time and energy to worry, and yet, what's the point? So the question is, what is worry? Do you know? Because when you think about it, worry is nothing in particular. It's something that we do. It's like a pastime, a hobby. And for some people, it's a state of being. It's not healthy because worry is a form of anxiety and that can be temporary. But if we keep on worrying, it becomes a permanent state. So we are constantly worried about things. We become a worrier. That's not good because you are giving energy to something where ultimately you have no influence on the outcome. Think about the government. The government has issues and concerns and challenges. They don't have a room full of people worrying. They don't suddenly burst into the room and go, quick, the situation's got worse. You need to worry harder. People don't. We don't worry harder. We just worry. And we have this thing, this blob of a mass of worry that we just carry around with us. Rubbish. You can have concern. You can have focus about things. That makes a difference because with that, you will take action and put things right. But to just generally worry is pointless and energy sapping and absolutely useless. And I would say, stop it now. Because when you do stop worrying, when you realize what a waste of energy it is, things will change. And as I was told way back, and you'll hear me say it loads and loads of times, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Dr. Wayne Dyer and my mentor. So don't spend your time worrying. It's never solved an issue. I've been there. I've been through situations where I could quite easily have sat there and worried all evening, all weekend, for, for months, worrying about something, which may not even happen. So now I'm giving energy to something that might not happen. What a pointless and futile exercise that is. So again, my suggestion to you is stop it. It's being instilled in us, especially with what's been going on over the past 12, 18 months now, that we have this focus on worrying and that, oh, this is going to happen. Oh, this might happen. And yeah, OK, it's, it's a serious situation. But there's no point worrying about it. What will happen will happen. If it's something that you can control, you will take control of it. But stop worrying because it will make you ill. It made me ill. And that's why I had to realize it's no good. And then when I consciously made the effort to not worry, things got better. I viewed things differently. The energy that I had was more because I was holding that energy for me, not giving it to something absolutely futile. Children are worrying more now. They shouldn't. Children should have a childhood. Children should have fun and laughter and learning so that they create an environment that is great. Yet we are creating an environment of worry for them. Absolutely pointless and it's wrong. So we need to stop that. It's got so bad that me and the team of other people have got together and written a book about it. And if you follow me previously, you'll see Timmy Turtle and his bag of worries. That is a story designed to help children, to stop them worrying. It has treatment within it because it's got that bad. If you want that book, if you go to funtech.com, download it. It's free because we wanted to stop children worrying. Anyway, back to you. 
You need to decide, can I control the situation or can I not control the situation? If you can control it, then you can do something about it. You can actively take steps to stop whatever you are concerned about happening from happening. If you can't control that situation, then why worry? Because it's out of your hands. It's being influenced by something else, you know, whether it's big or small. But giving it energy is a waste of your energy. Use it to actively control what you can control. So there you go. A simple question. Can I control it? Can I not control it? Is it in my hands or is it out of my hands? Because if you can't control it, if it's not in your hands, stop using that energy and stop using that worry. If it's something you can control, then take action. Do something about it. To either speak to someone who can help, to do whatever you need to do to stop that situation from occurring, getting worse, or whatever it is. Because we all have different situations. But now do you see the difference? Why am I wasting my time and effort and energy on something that is completely out of my control? Pointless. Use that energy where it is needed. So if it's got to the point where you are worrying all the time, and OK, it's very easy for me to say, just switch it off. But yeah, sometimes you need to kind of wean off it and it will take time. But if you need help, well then I'm here to help you because there are methods that we can use to speed the process up. I can be the catalyst in your life if you like and I can do that very quickly but you need to be able to do it as well. You need to consciously make the decision and want to stop worrying. Don't make it a pastime. Don't make it your hobby. Don't make it your life's goal to worry because trust me, been there, done it, had the t-shirt, been on the medication, it is not the ideal situation to have at all. So stop it. So again, if you want the book, the children's book, it's free. It's an ebook, free to download. It's also available as an mp3 audiobook, free to download. It's also available as a school lesson. So if you're a school teacher or you know school teachers, then we need to teach these children not to worry, not to get anxious. It's free. All we ask is a donation to charity. It's even available as a video book, which there is a small purchase fee for that, but it is there to help children. And even the adults reading the story to their children are finding the benefits of it. So stop worrying. Now I've given you the solutions. If you want to speak to me, speak to me. Go to my website, improvemymindset.com. If this video is helpful, then like it. And if you can share it and pass it on to somebody else who you know is a born warrior, then please do so. There you go. That's my eight minutes for today. Hope it's useful. Stop worrying. Speak to you again soon.